Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's me, Susan Penguin, and yes, I'm back, back making videos, and uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a short but sweet Battlefield Hardline video, so enjoy. Okay, what I'm going to be showing you is how to get camera coins. If you don't know what camera coins are, they are what's used to get the Mac 10 and the Knockout. So basically, how do you get a camera coin? You need 10 Intel assists in one game to get one camera coin. And how you get an Intel assist is your camera on your professional class has to be down and spot an enemy and then your teammate has to go and kill that enemy. However, if an enemy, your teammate spots an enemy over your camera, the, the, your camera spot will be wiped out and you will not get the Intel assist. So I'm just going to show you some simple spots of where to put cameras and how to place them and stuff. Um, and basically the game modes that you want to play is 64 player TDM or large conquest. They're the best ones to get you get all your Intel assists on and you'll average around Definitely get one camera coin per game, maybe two or three. The most I've ever got is, is uh, three camera coins in one game Anyway, as you can see here within a couple of seconds of me placing a cam the cameras down I already got an Intel assist and then uh, Here's another spot where you can put cameras Basically, the, be the best place that you want to put them is in high traffic areas where you know there's going to be a lot of enemies and you know for a fact that your cameras will spot them first. Let's say spawn points, um, really high up buildings, because the cameras do have a long range. They can, they can see up to 75 meters and they can also see in a cone. If you look at your map, your radar, and you see the white, the white area coming from your character, that is how much the camera can see. The camera can see the same amount as you, the same field of view as you can, um, but it can see infinitely up and down. So that's something you need to take into account when you're placing your cameras. Always place them high up. You never want to place them on the ground. If you place them on the ground, you are limiting your camera's visibility by quite a lot. Also, another thing to note, you can also change class once your cameras are down and they will still get Intel assists for you. As you can see here, I'm on my operator class and I still got an Intel assist. This is really useful, say you want to jump into a game, chuck your cameras down, change class and then play as usual and uh, just make sure, just keep checking on your cameras, make sure they're still there and if they're not, change class again and chuck your cameras back down. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, I hope this helped. Um, if you want to subscribe, subscribe, but I'm going to be bringing a lot more videos out, so thanks very much.